The latest managing Microsoft Teams MS 700 Real Questions are newly updated for you to practice. 1. You need to configure the user accounts of the sales department users to meet the security requirements. What should you do for each user? A. From the Microsoft Teams Admin Center, set the Microsoft Teams upgrade policy to Skype for Business with Teams Collaboration and Meetings Coexistence Mode. B. From PowerShell, Run the Grant C's Teams Upgrade Policy Policy Name SFB with Teams Collab CMD Let. C. From PowerShell, run the Grant C's Teams Upgrade Policy Policy Name Islands CMD Let. D. From the Microsoft Teams Admin Center, set the Microsoft Teams Upgrade Policy to Skype for Business Coexistence Mode. Answer. A. 2. You need to configure the environment to meet the device requirements for the Microsoft Teams phones. What should you do from the Microsoft Teams Admin Center? A. Create a configuration profile. B. Modify the Teams settings. C. Create a meeting policy. D. Create a calling policy. Answer. A. 3. What should you recommend to meet the Microsoft Teams requirements for guest access? A. From the Azure Active Directory Admin Center, modify the external collaboration settings to include Fabricam.com only. B. From the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, modify the Office 365 Group Settings. C. From the External Access Settings in the Microsoft Teams Admin Center, add Fabricam.com to the allowed list of domains. D. From the Microsoft Teams Admin Center, Turn off org-wide guest access and manually add guest users from Fabricam.com to Teams. Answer. A. 4. You need to create a team for the sales department. What should you do first? A. Create an Office 365 group and modify the membership rule for the group. B. From PowerShell, run the Add Azure Add Group Member CMD Let. C. From PowerShell, run the New Team CMD Let. D. Create a team and select Build a Team from Scratch. Answer. A. 5. You need to implement a solution to meet the Microsoft Teams requirements for the Compliance Department. What should you do first? A. Add all the Compliance Department users as members of an org-wide team. B. Add all the Compliance Department users to a universal security group. C. Add all the Compliance Department users to an Office 365 group. D. Assign the Teams Communication Support Engineer role to all the Compliance Department users. Answer. B. 6. You have a Microsoft 365 subscription that uses Microsoft Teams. You plan to deploy Microsoft Teams Voice. Which two settings require a resource account? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note. Each correct selection worth one point. A. Call Park Policies. B. Auto Attendant. C. Call Queues. D. Emergency Polices. E. Guest Access. Answer. B. C. 7. 
You have a Microsoft Office 365 subscription that contains a user named User1. You need to ensure that User1 can view analytics and reports in the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. The solution must use the principle of least privilege. Which role should you assign to User1? A Teams Communication Support Specialist B. Skype for Business Administrator C. Global Reader D. Global Administrator Answer B. 8. You have a Microsoft Office 365 subscription that contains a user named User1. You need to ensure that User1 can view analytics and reports in the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. The solution must use the principle of least privilege. Which role should you assign to user 1? A Teams Communication Support Specialist B. Skype for Business Administrator C. Global Reader D. Global Administrator Answer B. 9. Your company has a Microsoft 365 subscription. You have a Microsoft Teams team named Sales that is set to private. Users report that they can view the sales team from a list of suggested teams. You need to hide the team from the list of suggested teams. What should you do from the Microsoft Teams client? A. Modify the team discovery settings. B. Select the hide team option. C. Modify the team privacy settings. D. Modify the team member permissions. Answer. A. 10. You have a Microsoft Office 365 subscription. You need to prevent guest users from deleting channels from a Microsoft Teams team. What should you use? A. The Microsoft 365 Admin Center B. The Microsoft Teams PowerShell Module C. The Azure Active Directory Admin Center D. The Security and Compliance Admin Center Answer B.